Welcome guys to Tide of War number 4. In here, I will guide you how to reaching it at least uh, rank S or SS uh, as an F2P player. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, in here, uh, 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 first thing first, stage buff in here, you need to break enemy weakness. And after that, you gonna have a grid value. So basically that. In here, the grid value number two and four is really important. I will tell you, uh, like, in here, you absolutely need to using expose weakness. I, I'm trying to using the ignore weakness and find how to finishing this one, but this one is really bad. Don't ever using it. Okay. For grid phase 2, just using expose weakness and in grid phase 3, I'm finishing both in shatter shield and pursuer. But the pursuer is more easier and more ex uh, like a more expectable than the first one. The first one is more uh, RNG but both are uh, still good. It's up to you which one that you are gonna using. And uh, for the grid phase 4 in here, basically uh, in when you uh, go to the base war, all the enemy uh, which is broken is gonna be break right away, uh, except for the one who come uh, came uh, after that. You need to broke them, bro broke their uh, weakness again. But the one who in the stage right away is gonna be is gonna be right away uh, destroyed. I think that's and also there is gonna. Uh, if the enemy that uh, uh, in in a phase four being attacked, their uh, action be, is gonna be delayed. So uh, I'm suggesting you to using a character that can attack multiple enemy, like uh, nihility some nihility character, uh, destruction character, and absolutely for erudition character. They are really, really good in here. So that's for the grid phase. And for the enemy in here, in wave one and wave two, they are quite uh, uh, easy to destroy in here. Uh, there is gonna be a two uh, boss in here, like in wave one and in wave two, uh, wave, two wave, wave three, two. But first thing first, you need to focus on destroying the uh, minion first because uh, we are gonna using Mam Himeko a lot and with Mam Himeko you need to destroy at least three uh, enemy weakness break before she can uh, throw out her follow up attack so this one is quite uh, you can destroy a lot of uh, minion and after that you're gonna uh, destroying the safeguard in here uh, safeguard is a buff for the middle middle boss in here after safeguard is being destroyed you can uh depleting enemy weakness uh boss weakness break before uh before you destroy uh destroying the safeguard you cannot like depleting a uh, middle boss uh toughness in here so uh be mindful with that and in wave 3 in here a bit harder because we are fighting with uh, Bronya. Bronya is quite tough in here because like you can see in here another character only like uh, ice resistance in here wind resistance with wave 3 like control effect resistance so uh, it's a bit tougher but uh, I will show you how to finishing it at least level SS if not uh, uh, at, at least S if not SS. It's a bit RNG here and there, but uh, it's all good. Okay, uh, for the character that we can use in here, you can using like uh, two character in here that I'm gonna uh, recommending it. Uh, the character is Ruan Mei and Mami Himeko. Both are really, really good in here. Ruan Mei is gonna buffing our uh, break effect a lot. And Mam Himeko is gonna be destroying a uh, three enemy with his with her skill. 
and also the pull up attack is really really good in here you can like rock her uh, pull up attack again and again in here but please don't using a uh, silver warp in here or link in here man both are really really bad in here they are attacking one only uh, enemy and their uh, attack uh, the attack is not that tanky enough uh, in this stage so i try i'm trying to using silver warp but it's only like uh, uh reaching like uh, a rank so yeah uh in with swayi is the pain but uh the trial one in here is quite bad so i'm suggesting you to using your own swayi instead of the trial one if you have her being already being uh being being built so there's already two character in here and another two is uh, depend on you but uh in here by using uh by by seeing the enemy in here you you, you should be using like a fire two fire character at least if not three and in wave three in here i'm suggesting you to uh, put one or two it depend on you a uh, physical character like some physical character is really really good in here like argenti argenti is really really good but it uh it's a bit uh wasted the one who really really good in here is the where he is here we go shusheng with shusheng you can destroy weakness break enemy really fast plus there is a Ruan Mei is gonna be really, really good in wave 3 okay in wave 3 if, if you have uh, some problem with uh, wave 3 cleaning uh, wave 3 uh, but in here I'm using Clara because Clara is quite cheap so I can using a skill point on uh, Mami Himeko and another fire character uh, in here another fire character you can using like there's some fire character in here like like who you can using asta asta man asta in here is crazy especially if you have a, a like a lot of break effect in her man asta is really good galhart is also good if you are building already building him uh unfortunately i'm not building asta and galhart yet in here so <laughs> it is what it is so i'm using Guinai fan instead so uh, I think uh, that's it so we are gonna go to the action also ma my mommy Himeko is worse than the trial one <laughs> but I'm still using uh, mine instead <laughs> it is what it is okay in here like you can see like I said before there is safeguard buff in here so we cannot just depleting our enemy break if uh break uh toughness in here so we need to break minion first after we break minion now we can depleting uh boss toughness in here even though like a uh, safeguard unremovable but now we can destroying uh enemy toughness in here so we're gonna using himeko in here The good thing about Clara, if you already have her, you can uh, attack multi, uh, like enemy multiple times as long as she being attacked. Like it's a bit RNG, but in here, she being attacked a lot. Especially you putting her in in the middle. Okay, we are gonna buff all our teammate. Good. In here, we are gonna using our ultimate too. Okay, good. Because there is no physical character yet in here, uh, you can just uh, using it to attack the minion or the boss. In this case, I will just just using her to attack this boss. Okay, attack the enemy. Good. Are we using uh, ultimate? And also in here, you just using ultimate right away. You don't need to preserve your ultimate like a green knife and you you skill uh, using your skill point and 
or a basic attack and ultimate but in uh, generally but in here just using her ultimate again and again and again you don't need to think about it too much okay in here i will using her uh, ultimate to destroying um, main boss uh, also uh, you need to be careful with uh, middle one the middle one is the one who be you have the middle one is the one who have a safeguard the boss in the left side don't have it so we, if you destroy uh, destroying the boss in the left is there's gonna be another uh, boss come out so it's endless a uh, boss so you need uh, the main point is destroying the middle boss after we are destroying the middle boss in the wave one we're gonna go to the wave two and wave three so the main main boss is the middle one just in case you don't uh you don't know you and here we're gonna destroy his weakness uh, his toughness there you go look at that <laughs> look at the <laughs> the damage man that's crazy really, really crazy i think in here we we are gonna have uh we are gonna go to the grid phase four in here we are gonna doing a lot of damage in here finger cross yeah there you go in here i will uh, proc uh, run my ultimate just in case i'm forget it i don't want to forget it i'm forgetting it several times so i i don't want it to uh, happen again Okay, in here we are fighting with the monkey. The monkey is a bit uh, tougher than the first first boss, but as long as we are uh, destroying his uh, toughness first, after that we can destroy uh, destroying his uh, quite uh, efficiently. But first thing first, we need to destroy his uh, toughness first. Okay, follow up nice in here i think i will destroy all ultimate good okay i will just attacking the middle boss in here okay go on Okay. I think I will using skill. Go on. It's still uh, like the AOE is really good to destroying the the middle boss. Go on. I think yeah. We destroying the boss, so we are in the wave tree in here. You need to remember in here in uh after you go out from a uh grid a grid phase four the like in here like there is safeguard but you still can destroying uh ronya toughness as long as uh she not have her her turn yet so before her turn come out even though you you are already finishing the grid grid phase grid phase four. You still can destroying her uh, toughness. In case you don't know. Ah, just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. Dang, man. Just a little bit. Ooh. there you go, man. Some RNG here and there. Like before, I'm uh, recording it. I reaching Guinea uh, like using Guinea fan ultimate and uh mamihime ultimate but it is what it is i hope i can reaching ss before i reaching ss i think in here um, i will gonna reaching s it is what it is man it is what it is yeah. 
Iya, iya, iya. Ah, why not attacking Clara? I mean, attack Clara. Okay, in here, you can see uh, the the toughness still uh, open in there. But once uh, Bronya take turn, it's gonna be locked again. There you go. You can see, now her weakness break is being locked again. So we need to proc, proc it by destroying a uh, weakness, uh, toughness of a uh, minion first. I have something for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think using Queen Ivan, yeah. Follow up and ultimate. Good, we are in the okay, we are in the uh, uh, uh base war again. Before we forget it, every petal in life's garden, all will be swept away by the wind. Okay, Bob, uh, anyone, everyone. Okay, in here, I will gonna using uh, Mam Himeko first. Before, uh, because uh, every time uh, Mam Himeko triggering a uh, follow up, it's gonna be uh, replacing her. Energy. Oh. I want to protect everyone to help me, Mr. Tara. Okay, I think I will just using it and destroy the side boss. Okay, in here I will just uh, proc a uh, follow up. Good, attack Lara, man. Attack Lara, just attack Lara. Good. Um, in here I will destroy side boss, so it's gonna be. There you go. Another follow up, good. Yeah, I, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I will take middle boss. We almost finish here. Okay, uh, I think I will take the middle boss. Okay, who? We are finishing it, I guess. Yeah, SS. There you go. Who? There you go, guys. SS rank or uh, title. Uh, ties of war number four so uh you with this um strategy you can reach as s at least s uh, depend on your uh team so but this is quite good uh strategy so you can using it i hope this gonna be a uh, help you a lot and if you uh yeah i think that's it and thank you so much for coming here and if you like this kind of content you can go to panglimakegelapan.star.page In there you can find all of my social media and how to support me. I just say hi when I'm live streaming next time. So, thank you so much and I will see you again next time. Bye!